Good morning, body of Christ. <clears throat> I just want to do a little teach, a little teaching on uh, 1 Corinthians 4. And um, it's something that's uh, very prevalent in my life. Um, uh, you hear so many rumors. So many people think they have an idea of what you're doing. And this is the same kind of issue that Paul was having in the early church. And in 1 Corinthians 4, he says, So look at Apollos and me as mere servants of Christ who have been put in charge of explaining God's mysteries. Now a person who's put in charge as a manager must be faithful. As for me, it matters very little how I might be evaluated by you or any other human authority. On this point, my conscience is clear, but it doesn't prove that I'm right. It is the Lord himself who will examine me and decide. You know, as, as Christians, we so often are moving in faith. Um, we have the word to go on, and we do things in accordance with our faith. But as far as we know, we're doing what's right, but we will truly be evaluated when we stand before God. It is the Lord himself who will, who will examine me and decide. Um, I just see so many policemen today in church, uh, in the churches, in, you know, on Facebook, just, just like religious policemen. And they're constantly cutting down moves of the Spirit. They're constantly exalting themselves into a place of like lordship, where they have victory over everything and they know all the truth and 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 what they do is they they it's like they're reigning already and they're they're judging everything um i find that people that are doing that are often not busy uh actually walking in spirit and truth um winning the lost following the heart of christ now i'll i'll go further on that but right now i'm going to leave that there then he says <clears throat> It is the Lord himself who will examine me and decide. So don't make judgments about anyone ahead of time before the Lord returns. So that's a, you know, everybody, you, there's one time in the scripture where he says, well, these guys are preaching in Jesus name and casting out demons. And he says, well, don't stop them. He says, whoever is for us is not against us. And um, God calls individuals and if you are spiritual in any way, you will know that different people have have different gifts and wisdom from God that is, is really special. And they understand things in a different way than you do. Um, or maybe see scripture and interpret it and, and, and are able to come up with new revelation. Or So God really has entrusted all of us with, with gifts. And we need to... Not come up with judgments and evaluate everybody before we actually talk to them or know the truth. Some people, there's some moves out there that really don't seem like they're God, but there's people being saved. There's people coming, being baptized, and developing their own relationship with Jesus Christ. I see that every move of God, some may start in a bad way, but out of it spawns or out of it grows individuals who individually are serving God and so the blanket washing everybody with a blanket is really really dangerous every move of God is made up of individuals and every individual is on an own, on their own path and own walk with God so it's such a it's such a big mistake for Christians to put blanket judgments over groups of people or over people's motives when they have no idea. They've already sat themselves up in a place of judgment. And that's that's like what he says later on. He says, you think you already have everything you need. You think you are already rich. You have begun to reign in God's kingdom without us. I wish you really were reigning already, for then we would be reigning with you. He's saying, yeah, you guys are sitting in a place of comfort, in a place of inactivity, and you're making judgments over all the things that we are doing as if you are already reigning in God's kingdom, as if you already possess all the knowledge that you need, as if you already have everything figured out. 
But we, and then he goes instead, sometimes I think God has put us apostles on display like prisoners of war at the end of a victor's parade, condemned to die. Fools for Christ. We have become a spectacle to the entire world, to people and angels alike. Our dedication to Christ makes us look like fools. But you claim to be so wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are so powerful. You are honored, but we are ridiculed. Even now we go hungry, thirsty. We don't have enough clothes to keep warm. We are often beaten and have no home. We work wearily with our own hands to earn our own living. We bless those who curse us. We are patient with those who abuse us. We appeal gently when evil things are said about us. Yet we are treated like the world's garbage, like everybody's trash, right up to the present moment. And there's so many people out there working that are misunderstood, misrepresented, and judged. The Bible says, do not judge a person, um, or we do not go by hearsay. So what he's saying, he's like saying, uh, I don't know the exact words, but the Bible says that we don't make judgments prior to meeting people and talking with them. And I was talking to a young boy the other day, a young guy, an old friend of mine from my old church, and he goes, man, Art, he said, I just want to talk to you. And uh, I said, I said, right on, that's cool. I said, that's pretty rare, man, you know? And he's like, well, he's like, there's so many rumors flying around about what you're doing and who you are and this and that and yada yada. It's like, nobody even knows what they're talking about. He said, uh, I just want to talk to you. And, and uh, I said, dude, like, what's stopping the rest of them? You know, from, you got a question on your mind? Come, come ask me. And uh, if you want to see what, what it is that I'm trying to do, come, come walk with me. You know, uh, we're bringing the gospel to people, man. We're, we're baptizing people in Jesus' name. We're getting out there because I just see all these people and all these denominations. They're already reigning. They've got all the information. They've got all the knowledge, all the truth, apparently. And they're sitting on their butts. And God says, pray for workers to be sent out into the harvest field. Every day at 10 o'clock, we pray with, with all my bros. And, and, uh, and we pray... For God to send out workers into the harvest field because the, the harvest is plentiful but there are so many people filled with knowledge that have no desire to lift a finger to bring people to God to to bring the gospel Man, there's so many people out there the harvest is plentiful the harvest is plentiful get it out of your head that people in your town don't want Jesus people in your town want Jesus um, I'm not saying that we shouldn't judge the church we shouldn't judge believers. I'm not saying that. I'm saying don't make judgments about people ahead of time. Get to know them. Talk to them. Maybe walk with them a little bit. Maybe experience what God's called to them to. Maybe, maybe hear their heart on what God's saying to them. Um, so don't make judgments on people. Stop being the fun police. Stop being the religious police. You know, Even if you're born again and baptized, stop being a religious policeman. Help people, encourage things. Look at it from the eyes. Is the gospel going out? Okay, yes, the gospel is going out. Are they doing what the apostles did? Are they, are they, are they preaching you must be born again? Are they preaching you must be baptized? Are they preaching that you must live a life, surrender to God? Okay, those foundations are there. Good, okay. Is, are, they, are they preaching a life of repentance and turning from sin? Yes, okay, okay. So let's trust that God is big enough to lead them. Let's trust God to lead people. See, Jesus is the head of the church. It's never been people that have been the head of the church. It's been Jesus that has always been the head of the church. And, and that's why God's justice isn't mocked. You will always reap what you sow. And so if you are living waywardly, if you're living loose, guess what? You're going to stand before God in your own way. And, in, and He's going to judge you individually. So, if people are living loose, it's because they don't fear the Lord, and they will be judged. If people are avidly seeking God and out on the streets and doing things, they fear the Lord, and they know that they will be judged. So, it's important that we stop being these, these religious police. It's, it damages the body of church, and it divides the body of church, or the body of Christ. Don't... The Bible, but then the Bible says here, I mean that not to associate with anyone who claims to be a believer yet indulges in sexual sin, is greedy or worships idols or is abusive or is a drunkard or cheats people or don't even eat with such people, he says. 
this isn't my responsibility. It's not our responsibility to judge the world. Jesus didn't come to judge. He came to save. But it certainly is your responsibility to judge those inside the church who are sinning. God will judge those on the outside. But as the scriptures say, you must remove the, er the evil people from among you. Notice the sins that he mentions here are uh, very easy to spot. Someone who's indulging in sexual sins, a man who has lots of girlfriends, or, or, or you know, a woman who's, who's living loose, um, um, someone who worships idols, someone who's really gunning for the big house, someone who's really, you know, always on those ocean boat trips, and this and that, like, and you got to warn people that, that are, that are just, they're just loose and worldly, that they're going to stand before God one day. Um, uh, someone who, who is abusive or is a drunkard, you know, you can, people who drink often, they carry that, uh, they carry that with them. And if you, if you are involved and know people, you will see the way that they live. Um, greed is another one. Um, the thing about churches is there's supposed to be unity so that we would actually know each other and hold one another accountable. Um, but everybody is to stay busy. Everybody is to stay busy. And we are to trust that people are, that, that peop there has to be a certain amount of trust there, that people are following the Lord and the Lord is able to keep those that are His. He says that, He promises that none that are His will perish or none that are His will fall away. And so do we trust the Lord to lead us and if you see other people doing things that may be furthering the kingdom, I got reached in a way um, by certain people in God's kingdom that that now I consider fairly aloof. But they reached me, man. And they brought me in. See, God meets us at every stage of our life. And there's things that I wasn't willing to accept then that I am willing to accept now. So don't make judgments ahead of time on anyone. I want to encourage you, body of Christ. God is big enough that we can trust Him. But if you see people caught in direct sin, greed, drunkenness, sexual sin, then speak to them. God bless you. I hope this edifies you. Stop being the religious police. <laughs>